Listen to what y'all are saying right now. Brother, she's doing it for clout. So her claim to fame needs to be, I got raped or allegedly raped or almost raped by Dawood Kim. That's what I want my daughter's title to be. I'm not saying that if he has done these things that what Dawood Kim hasn't done is wrong. It's wrong. And I believe that he should pay for that. If it was through legal issues, legally, sure, he should pay for it. And I wouldn't deny or doubt that he wouldn't agree to this. He should pay for it, whatever it might be. But when I hear him, I don't find a fake person. I find a person who's genuinely, deeply sorry about what he's done. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, man, I am so grateful, thankful, and humbled that you decided to spend some of your precious, precious time that you could have been doing so many other things, but instead you decided to leave that or do that and listen to this at the same time and spend your time here with me today. Last time I made a video, and the title of the video, and you can watch it right here, is called Daoud. It's a good man. It was a reaction to his I Am Daoud uh, video. And um, after I made that video, a lot of people commented and gave me a new perspective that I feel like I didn't think of or address in that first video. Today, I woke up to, you know, reading all my comments, alhamdulillah, and you know, the way people respond to emails is the same way I respond to comments. You know, I'm, I'm very active on it. I love uh, communicating with you guys and just being able to reach me. So if you ever want to reach me, that is a great way. Or you could just DM me on Instagram. That's another great way uh, to reach me as well. Whoa, cats just fought each other, subhanAllah. May Allah protect us. They gave me uh, new perspectives to think about. And uh, I wanted to address those perspectives in this video. Today I woke up in the comment section and found out that Daoud Kim releases another video. It's an I'm sorry video, follow up to his first video uh, as well. And um, he's talking about the things that I wanted to address actually essentially in this video. So I figured, you know what, let me make a video for that uh, and uh, another video in support of him. Some of you are already like, SQ, how are you going to support him, bro? He, he tried to rape the person. No, no, no. He raped the person. No, it was all a lie. First and foremost, everyone, none of ya, none of ya know what's really, really happening. It's really, the real people who know what's really happened is Daoud Kim, right? As much as he can remember through that blackout. And the, the girl and the immediate family member who was there and saw everything or witnessed everything and the police reports or whatever. Like, let's not fake ourselves and act, act like we're some investigatory people over here, all right? You know, stop wanting to be like a Scooby-Doo, you know, jinky, shaggy, we, you know, we, we uncovered the mystery over here. Like, y'all don't know. I don't know either. Notice I'm not talking about the details of the case. It's not about the details of the case. It's about understanding how to forgive people. The one area that was a blind spot to me in my last video was that it came off as if I'm in full support of him, including what he's done or allegedly done, and the fact that this girl has to live with this trauma for the rest of my life, her, her life. I was upset to read in my comment section a lot of you guys who would watch these videos comment and things like, and I appreciate the comments nonetheless, but comment things like, she was asking for it. She let a drunk man into her house. What do you expect? Who tries to take care of some stranger in your house? Why let him in? And I just found that to be extremely disturbing. If my child got stabbed and um, the first question that I ask them or you ask them upon hearing about them getting stabbed was, well, what were you doing in that neighborhood? Well, you shouldn't have been hanging around them. All those statements are true. Is anyone denying them? But what do you think they are? 
insensitive, isn't it? It's insensitive. Imagine the parents of that child who got stabbed. Like, listen, we know he was in the wrong area. We know he shouldn't have been out. But he got stabbed. Can we address the fact that they got stabbed? That's, the, that's, that's what it's... Uh, that's a brief analogy for what we do to rape victims or people who are sexually abused. And that's part of the reason that, you know, women who are sexually abused uh, don't come out and speak the truth about their abuser. Because they're afraid of that type of stigma onto them when they feel like they've done their best to protect themselves. This video is not about was she right or wrong for letting another person in. This video is about regardless if she let him in or not, you and I don't have the right to blame someone and call them nasty names and say they had bad intentions. Oh, brother. All of a sudden, he's popular now, has two point something million followers now. So, you know, she's one in clout. Clout? Clout? You think, of, I'm not saying, again, this is not about whether, what kind of person she is. I'm not interested in that right now. Clout? You want to be famous for being unknown to be raped? Think about that. I'm not saying there's no merit to what she's saying. She could have done it better. I'm not, I, that's not what this video is about. It's just like, listen to what y'all are saying right now. Brother, she's doing it for clout. So her claim to fame needs to be, I got raped or allegedly raped or almost raped by Dawood Kim. That's what I want my daughter's title to be. You don't think her parents advised her? Do you not think that that situation might have got out of hand more than what we know, hence is causing her to do that? When I said, and I still claim, that Dawood Kim is a good man, I'm saying that from a person who's been through jahiliya, and I know how it affects those around me and me as well. I'm speaking from a perspective where I've done wrong, I've wronged people, and it was through the Allah, it was through Allah's mercy that I, like they never pressed charges against me. I've done some wrong things myself, and you have no idea how much I appreciate Allah expunging my mistakes and not revealing them to the public. But if tomorrow something came out about me and may Allah protect me and everyone, seriously, I do private sins at a level that if you found out about them, you would never want to even watch. You'd block me. You'd block your family members from ever watching me. This is all Allah's mercy that He's covered it from me. My sins from you and your sins from me, so I don't think negatively of you. On the day of judgment, inshallah, Allah, please, He's going to cover us in a, in a covering. Imagine like a little fitting room or a dressing room. So it's just you and Allah, and no one can see your sins. You and I are going to be worried when Allah repeats our sins to us, shows our sins to us. We're going to be like, is someone going to hear this? And Allah is going to tell us the same way I protected you and sheltered you, covered you. In this dunya, I'm covering you in the hereafter. We need Allah's forgiveness. I'm not saying that if he has done these things that what Dawood Kim hasn't done is wrong. It's wrong. And I believe that he should pay for that. If it was through legal issues, legally, sure, he should pay for it. And I wouldn't deny or doubt that he wouldn't agree to this. He should pay for it, whatever it might be. But when I hear him, I don't find a fake person. I find a person who's genuinely, deeply sorry about what he's done. And honestly, where would we be without Allah's forgiveness? Where? Do you not want Allah to forgive us? You know, I'm not saying that you should just blindly turn an eye and just start forgiving people without acknowledging and them having some type of atonement or penance for what they've done legally or whatever wise in this dunya. But, but I feel like a lot of us are moving away from forgiveness, from knowing that people deserve second chances, no matter how bad the crime is. I know that's weird to say, isn't it? SQ, what about a pedophile? A pedophile did this to children. You're going to forgive him, SQ? Well, are you saying that Allah won't forgive him? If, if that person has truly turned a new leaf, sought sincere tawbah, you're telling me Allah wouldn't forgive them? 
Be careful. Be careful. Don't allow your arrogance to speak on your behalf. Allah can and will forgive everyone. And this is a message to, I don't care how bad of a sinner you think you are. Allah will forgive you for what you've done. Sure, your consequences and your punishment, your atonement, your penance for that sin may be you dealing with this stigma of that sin for the rest of your life in this dunya so that you feel the pain from that so that Allah uses that as another opportunity to forgive you in the hereafter, sure, sure. Maybe that's how Allah wants to forgive you in this dunya so that you are forgiven in the hereafter, sure. I don't mean, you know, I'm going to let someone babysit my children, you know, oh, subhanAllah, if they did something like, such a thing like this. But it's my responsibility to know that people can change. But they might have to carry that stigma for the rest of I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. You know, we shouldn't be blaming the victim. We shouldn't be, you know, all of a sudden just all jumping in Dawood. If we're jumping to save Dawood, Kim, it needs to be about people can change people deserve other chances and our thoughts and our hearts go out to the the family of those who our actions might have harmed do you know our sins don't just damage us they damage people around us and we ask Allah's forgiveness to for 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 all those that we have harmed through our sins you know so try to understand that people deserve forgiveness. They deserve it. And when I hear the statement of Dawood Kim, I hear a person who's super reflective about their mistakes. That's what I hear personally. This is not a, another YouTuber protecting him. I don't care about that stuff, man. This, is, this has a deeper message than that. I'd hope at least. Uh, I'm going to leave it over here, guys. I don't want to get too, too emotional about this. Um, if you haven't watched the Uyghur social experiment, over 3 million Uyghur Muslims in China are in concentration camps, meaning they're being held beyond their will. You're truly, truly, truly missing out. It's in the cards uh, somewhere earlier in my video. Go watch that. Not because I feel like it, des it deserves more views, but I technically do feel like it deserves more views. I don't necessarily care about the views. Um, you're like, that's cute, but you just said that it deserves more views. Try to understand what I mean. I mean that topic deserves more views. Does that make sense? The topic of the Uyghurs deserves more views. I feel like I've made garbage videos about, uh, you know, people and what they've done. Uh, and, and though there were messages, assignment messages for people to done, but it was garbage compared to what I put out yesterday. And I feel like videos like that deserve a lot more clout, halal clout, mashallah. Um, I made another video yesterday, uh, which is going to shock you. If you made it to the end of this part, thank you, by the way. Um, I think I might just save my announcements for the end. I don't know. I don't know. I, I like experimenting different ways with my videos uh, and just see how I feel genuinely with you guys. Uh, I, I'm doing this super early in the morning. I don't know if you can tell. That's where the crows or I don't know what like, <laughs> those sounds are. Uh, but I have hijama to go to Brooklyn um, today. Alhamdulillah, I got to go do that. Uh, but I got to go to the bank earlier because uh, my bank got some fraudulent account stuff had done so I had to switch my bank account so I have to go with my wife to put her name back on the account just to hassle make the offer me and um, yeah anyways I went yesterday uh, to a Shia Majlis we're not used to seeing this you know I mean so it's important for us to acknowledge other people and what their traditions are it's not about if I agree with it or not I'm just trying to show you something different uh, stay tuned for the full YouTube video some of you are already unsubscribing. <laughs> wow, guys. Um, you know, like everything I learned about Shias was from non-Shias, right? Uh, so I wanted to just grill them and ask them all the questions that I feel like I have, right? And if you have any questions, drop in the comment section below. I'll often ask on your behalf. But I went to see what it's all about. And uh, it will shock you. It will shock you. That's all I got to say. Uh, so the title of the video is going to be called, I went to a Shia Majlis and what I learned will shock you or what I saw will shock you. Something along those lines. Uh, I'm just giving you guys a little preview about what's, what's to come. It's like a vlog style video. It's going to be quite long, but it's going to be very informative. And uh, I, I saw some craziness, right? Excited for you guys. I believe the Dawah Man podcast is dropping tomorrow. I hope that I didn't make him look bad. 
and I hope I didn't make myself look bad. Uh, I was seeing this yesterday because I was excited for you guys to watch that podcast because it did get heated. It did. Uh, and I was excited for you guys to take my side or support me in that heated argument like, yo, look at this guy. And that's wrong. You know what I mean? Like I shouldn't, I shouldn't want someone else to look bad either. And I pray that Dawa man doesn't look bad in that video uh, because I could have been rude to him. Uh, now, now that I'm thinking about it, I could have been rude to him. And uh, why should I try to embarrass him in front of his followers? Or that's so wrong, you know. So if I if I did do that, uh, <laughs> and you're watching that video right now, and you haven't seen this video for some reason, um, I'm truly sorry. Forgive me. And I pray that I didn't make him look bad, or I didn't make myself look bad. I pray that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala honors us all, both and everyone uh, as well too. And this ummah, uh, in this dunya, and in the hereafter, and make us leaders of this dunya, uh, and and in the hereafter, right? We need to be leaders of this dunya. That's that's definitely for sure. Until next time, I'm out.